We are Drift and Noise Polar Services, the private spin-off company from the Alfred Wegener Institute for Polar Research. We are located in Bremen in northern Germany and what we're doing is we assist activities in the polar regions with data from space and the Copernicus service to make them more safe, more economically and sustainable. Here at Drift and Noise we do two things. We do consulting and we develop apps. So consulting is customized solutions for customers or other stakeholders who want specific information about the ice. In the long term, we would like to automate this information flow and put it in the ICE application. So our company is developing um, an application which will use Copernicus marine um, service data, especially for people operating in, in Arctic areas. So they can then download data that they need to increase the safety of their shipping, of their operations. Most relevant for us, a uh, product from the Copernicus Marine Service is the Topaz 4 data. Uh, that's an oceanic model, which provides us with information about the sea ice thickness, for example, from which we can deliver then the ice drift. We more and more support the expedition cruise industry. More and more tourists would like to go in the Arctic regions. And then on the long term, the Arctic is uh, an alternative trade route between Europe and Asia. In the future, I would expect from Copernicus Marine Service to, to provide us also with more data uh, around the Antarctic region. Due to Copernicus Marine Service and the Copernicus Open Data Program, the satellite missions, that's the only reason why our company exists. The combination of satellite images and the Copernicus Marine data is very valuable because the satellite image is static, but ice is not static, ice moves. With the Copernicus data, we can make the satellite images moving and showing where the ice is. That makes it really powerful in our everyday life.